2008 Hug or Help Us Grow Charity Foundation has been supporting sustainable community projects in Uganda, East Africa, and uh, to empower communities to make a sustainable difference in their own lives. The Smiling Hearts Initiative is aimed at providing children and young people living with a disability access to training, education, and a greater sense of belonging and self-worth. Please welcome with your, it's imaginary, but I can feel you doing it around uh, uh, rooms right around the world, Loretta Lilford, uh, co-founder of Smiling Hearts, to tell us more. Welcome, Loretta. Thanks, Jacinta. Hello, everyone. I'm Loretta Lilford, and Kyabram's my home, but I'm lucky enough to call a second place home, and that's the Smiling Heart Centre in Uganda. The story of my second home is simply a love story. I fell in love with some of the most inspirational kids you could ever meet. They all live with varying degrees of disability, and sadly, this can mean these kids live a life subjected to cruelty and discrimination. And that's where our story begins. It was my nursing career that originally took me to Uganda and where I learnt the fate of children with disabilities and how they may be treated. Abandoned, abused, denied medical treatment and worst of all, killed at birth. These kids believe they have no worth, no rights and the best they can hope for is the life of a slave. I'll never forget the young girl who spent such a significant part of her life locked up in a pig pen, that the only sounds she was able to make were those of the pigs she'd been kept with. Can you imagine having such limited contact with your family and community that you weren't even able to share language with them, let alone food, shelter, and most importantly, love? Coming home, I knew I had to do something. So I stepped into the unknown and made contact with an inspiring young Ugandan woman, Helen, who I'd met over there. She shared my passion to see improved lifestyle and rights for young people living with disabilities. And together we founded Smiling Heart Uganda. But it's our amazing Helen that brings our dreams on the ground to life. Studies told us that those living with disabilities experience 30% more severe poverty than those without a disability due to their lack of education and skills required for employment. So we realised if we could develop a program to make vulnerable kids employable and self-sufficient, not only would this tackle the injustice and the inhumanity these kids experienced, but it would enable them to live fulfilling lives reach their full potential, feel accepted, and be treated with respect within the community. So we did just that. We support our Smiling Hearts children through different initiatives. Some are receiving academic education, some completing apprenticeships, and all are participating in vocational skills training with our employed teachers. They're becoming skilled in sewing and knitting and printing and baking. And this is increasing their confidence and their belief in themselves. They are members of their community and in every sense of the word, they are equals. Let me tell you about Saddam. Being deaf and mute, he was abandoned by family and raised in institutionalized care. He later found himself turned away from there with nothing but a dream he was keeping safe in his heart. Saddam wanted to become a barber. Others believed this was impossible, but Smiling Heart sourced and funded his apprenticeship and provided him with a safe home and environment while he was training. And Saddam is now employed, supporting himself, living independently. Such a happy and proud young man. We're really so proud of what Smiling Hearts has achieved in five short years. Our vision to transform lives has become a reality. And last year, we even purchased our forever home. And that means the kids will never again go without shelter, 
food and the love of family. But we're here tonight because we need some extra help. For every success story we've achieved against the odds, there are more young ones with disabilities in need of an opportunity, and we're having to turn them away. We want to extend our vocational training program and provide the skills to more young ones than we currently can due to our limited finances. And we believe we can achieve this through a day program. We already have the centre and the teachers. So if we have the means to transport young people with disabilities in the community to us and have the funds to purchase additional sewing and knitting machines, we can provide skills training and reach more kids. This is a real win-win situation that benefits not just the kids, but the families and the wider community. And with that in mind, we humbly ask for your help. $10,000 would enable us to purchase resources, additional equipment and food to implement a three day a week vocational training program for one year. With an additional $20,000, we could purchase a reliable bus and pay a driver to transport children from the community to the centre each day. And for every $2,000 over this, we can assist four children with medical interventions to overcome their disability and enable them to live at home with their families as loved and welcome members. Well, that's our story. And I'm hoping now you might just get why I'm going to end where I began. Our story is simply a love story. And let me assure you, if smiling hearts had existed when I came across that young girl in the pig pen, I know we would have been able to turn her life into one of meaning. And with your help, we can do just that for the kids we haven't been able to reach yet. Thank you for listening to our story and hearing about our inspirational smiling hearts. Thank Loretta! You. <laughs> Loretta! <sighs> Jacinta, this is unbelievable. Um, and I don't know how we can adequately thank people like, I said our story was a love story, but you've just affirmed that everyone. And I've stood beside these kids and seen others reject them. And tonight you've just shown them how precious they are and how valuable. And and I don't know how to thank you for that. I, I can't imagine what Helen's doing at this moment, just knowing this is, this is more than a dream come true. All those things we've held in our heart like Saddam you've you've made this become a reality for the kids and I, and I just need to thank the funding network you are amazing I don't know how you do it the event partner Hayden and the generous donors and just everyone who's joined tonight's event thank you from the bottom of the, our hearts and Gosh, you tried to get us a bus. You've got us more. And, and I can only tell you that we'll post photos of kids everywhere hanging out that bus. And we'll see a smile. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. I want to congratulate Andrew and Ali. I can only know what you might be feeling at the moment. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. I know, Loretta, I'll be speaking on behalf of everyone to say the thanks is to you. It's the work that you do and the gratitude that uh, we are feeling for you has been only in a small way expressed tonight. So keep the work going. We can't wait to see the photos of those buses, <laughs> of the bus and the children. Uh, and, you know, we've all got a quiet idea about what bit we, uh, we have pledged toward. Loretta, please give our love to Helen and congratulations. Thank you, Jacinta. Thank you, everyone, on behalf of Helen, myself, and all the amazing smiling hearts. Oh, Thank you. beautiful. Thank you very much. And the sunlight hurts my eyes.